Hey guys, welcome to Immense Memories and welcome to Bogota, Colombia. Welcome, look at this, it's amazing. We're gonna be here for a month in Colombia and I'm gonna show you around, I'm gonna show you the sights and sounds of Bogota and see what it has to offer. There's lots to do, lots to see. So I hope you relax, sit back, grab your favorite drink and enjoy Bogota with me. National Museum of Colombia and it's a lot of fun. It's like a prison actually. It was a prison for many many years and now it's a museum and so it's really a nice place with a lot of cool features and things to see. It's definitely a place where we like starting out if I'm here in Bogota or in Colombia and you happen to be here. It's raining so it's a cool place to go to just kind of see what Colombia is about and learn more about the history of the country and to get yourself started. It's really nice. I'm enjoying it. Fueron tantos años, tanta tierra cruzando océanos. Tantas idas y Todo lo que sentimos y lo que aprendimos, lo que nos propusimos, nos sirvió para ser lo que ahora somos. So that was the National Museum. Um, definitely worth the trip and checking out. Like I said, it's, it's a nice place to see if you want to find more out more about Colombia's history and culture. And um, now we're going to have a little bit of lunch and head over to a typical Colombian restaurant. So now I'm stuffed in a taxi with two senoritas. Two ladies. Two ladies. My friend Jamie and her friend. Alejandra. Alejandra. And we're going um, for your restaurant now for lunch. And yeah, Amy and I, we know each other for like three years now. Friend from Colombia. And um, you live where? Near Chuachi. Chuachi. Right. Chuachi. I always say Kuachi. It's, it's horrible. Wrong. It's wrong. It's Chuachi. Um, and yeah, so I'm uh, checking out some of the local sites today. And we'll have some lunch. Some we'll go to the old town a little bit. And then we'll see. Tonight we'll go probably out for dinner at a famous uh, Colombian restaurant. What's it called? Andres Carnero. Andres Carnero. And um, then fiesta, fiesta, fiesta. So we'll see. But um, one other thing I'm learning, everybody here is driving like crazy. And you have to be in a taxi to get to places. So. Um, We'll see what's next. And a lot of graffiti too. Like, look at this. You see all the, the, the chicken over there? All right, made it to the restaurant. First course, croquetas. Looks pretty good. Look at this. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Jamie, you want to share with the people what you're eating? What are you eating? What is this? What are you this having? This is coconut rice with like green plantain yeah. for my country. And this is called ceviche. Okay. It's like a fish with onion, cilantro, and lemon. And it's without cook. That looks yummy. Yes. And then we're having <coughs> shrimp over here. And the same thing. Lots of good food.
All right, guys. So next up is the presidential palace. And we're just walking around looking at um, the area. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's a big square marketplace. It's pretty safe. So, you know, nothing to worry about. There's a, like shit tons of uh, pigeons and things and people to see. So it's, it's, it's kind of nice. Like it's a really big market. And you can see here behind us is the um, like one of the big churches, cathedrals, and they have uh, open to the public, so you can go in there and just walk around. Um, you know, typical tourist things to do. And then the pre the president's palace is right behind me, and that's where the president of Colombia is. At the square, there was a lot of little stalls and markets to explore, so definitely something to also check out if you're on a hunt for some souvenirs. Of course, I had to stop at this church and check it out. And uh, it's beautiful. It's an old cathedral. It's right next to the presidential palace. Definitely recommend coming here and checking it out. Uh, it's beautiful architecture. I don't know much about it because I don't research a lot of these places. But it looks like um, it's really nice. And I think it's a Catholic church. Um, so it's next to the presidential palace if you are inclined to see something like that come down here and take a look. Okay, and so... Don't do this! So they're, they're afraid of talking about the president. Um, I don't I understand. I mean, it's probably a very difficult, difficult topic. But what they said is that apparently the president at one point was a guerrilla and he, uh, he set off a bomb and he got in power with a really bad way. But then, now there's re-elections and so now he's trying to change laws and make it better um, for the people because the people are catching on to him. So it sounds it's a very complicated situation in Colombia. Um, but like in most countries down in South America, it seems like the oppressed are scared to talk and the oppressors are doing their thing, but that's part of life too, you know? And people are very hopeful here. I feel like people are really um, trying their best to make, make things work for themselves. And um, that's probably not easy. So I'm really surprised about how they're working on things. And hey, Ella. So they are um, trying hard to make a life for themselves. After all the sightseeing, we returned back to our place and took a rest and got ready for the night. Cheers. Salud. It's finally dinner time and I had a lot of fun. So Bogota is definitely worth the place to check out. Let's see what we explore tomorrow. See ya. So here we are at the Salt Cathedral, day number two, and we're off to a good start. So we're going to go inside the cathedral, check it out, show you around a little bit, and uh, see where it take, takes us.
one might think there's nothing underground in a mine. Endless pits of hell. But in reality, you can get churro and ice cream. Look at this. But it's just my answer. <laughs> so how did you like this place? How? Yeah, like it was good, not good. Yeah, it's really it was good. fun. Yes, it's fun. Yeah. It's What's your favorite part? My favorite part was the lights. You know, like the lights? But the the big the big lights? Yeah, on the box. Okay. Yeah, it was cool. I like the organ that was playing. That was pretty nice. Like the the organ, like the harmony, the uh, yeah, but this is so cool. Yeah, that was cool. But yeah, definitely the cross, you know, the big one, that's like the bigger one. Yeah. Yeah, the bigger one. That was cool. Now we have to walk all the way back. Or you can take a train, which we just missed. So, yeah, this place right behind me there. That's pretty cool. Cool. Well, let's get out of here. Skedaddle. So the Salt Cathedral is definitely an activity that can take all day. And it is about an hour and a half from Bogota, and it takes time to get there. So it was an all-day activity, which led us into the next night. Perfect. So you might ask yourself, what is going on? I find myself at the Fumo Negro, which is a restaurant here in Bogota. It's called Black Smoke, and they serve everything um, omakase. And uh, I'm on to my third dish. I couldn't film because I was too engaged in my dinner and it's fantastic. So here we go. Jamie is having seaweed. I'm having <laughs> I'm having uh, this guy right here, the salad. This is the oyster. Oyster, wow. Uh -huh. Corn, egg, crema, and chicken. Mushroom and seaweed broth. Mushroom and seaweed broth. After this delicious dinner, we found ourselves dancing the night away until the very next morning, and a little hungover, the day started already pretty early. <laughs> new adventure new day and we are off to what is the market called Plaza La Perseverancia. Plaza de Severancia. Perseverancia. Perseverancia. Mi español y mal, but that's okay. Still learning. Um, and then we're going to Montserrat, which is like the big, big, big um, mountain top here in Bogota, and we'll take a look at that. I think it's going to be fun. So let's follow the road and see where it takes us. Holy shit. Look at this, this is cool. The market. Very cool. Mm -hmm. How does it work? Like they work here in the morning and they make breakfast and different food yeah. or? Yeah, they okay. make breakfast, lunch, everything. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. And like, is it open all day usually or? Exactly. You don't know exactly? Okay. As long, the most important thing is? Jesus. First thing for breakfast and hangover is a soup, some sort of Soup. What is this? Beef? Potatoes and it says like beef. Potato and beef. So like tripa or something? But it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna try. No tripa? No, just normal beef? Like Oh, it's like a rib. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Very good. Alright, let's go. It's good. Very good. Very good. Um, Wow, a lot of salt. 
tell my plate has been growing. There's been more plates added. And this is um, arepa. It's like a very typical dish. Uh, it's like bread with egg, and then in the bread they put different things. So it comes like with, this one is just plain, I think, but some come with cheese and different things. But it's perfect for a hangover, for sure. So, great breakfast. No quiero más problemas, quiero más fiesta y alegría en mi vida. Estoy trabajando todos los días, pero no siento mucha pena. La semana está por terminar y la fiesta va a empezar. Oye, what a beautiful sight and definitely worth the trip to go up to Monserrate. Well, thank you so much for watching this week's episode and don't forget to smash that like button and next week we're going to find ourselves in the countryside of Colombia. El trabajo está